Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the woods. She was known for always wearing a red riding hood made for her by her loving grandmother and because of this she was called Little Red Riding Hood. One day her mother asked her to take some food and a gift to her grandmother who lived in another village on the other side of the woods. She reminded Little Red Riding Hood not to talk to strangers for Dole in the forest as there were wolves about Little Red Riding Hood promised to be careful. She set off on her journey with a basket filled with goodies for her grandmother. As she walked through the woods she couldn't help but pick some lovely flowers. She lost track of time and wandered deeper into the forest that's when she met a sly and cunning wolf who asked her where she was going. Little Red Riding Hood not realizing the danger innocently told the wolf about her visit to her grandmother. The wolf with a wicked plan in mind convinced her to take a longer more scenic route while he hurried to the grandmother's house. The wolf arrived at the grandmother's house first and after a short conversation he revealed his true intentions. He swallowed the poor old lady whole and then disguised himself by wearing her nightgown and lying in her bed waiting for Little Red Riding Hood. When Little Red Riding Hood eventually arrived at her grandmother's house she noticed something different about her. She remarked on her grandmother's unusually large eyes, ears and teeth. It was then that she realized the grandmother was not her beloved relative but the cunning wolf. With a sudden leap the wolf revealed himself pouncing on Little Red Riding Hood. He swallowed her as well just as he'd done with the grandmother. However, a huntsman passing by heard the commotion and entered the house to investigate. He saw the wolf in bed and had a hunch that something was amiss swiftly cut open the wolf's belly, freeing both Little Red Riding and her grandmother who were miraculously still alive. They were overjoyed to be safe and sound and filled the wolf's belly with heavy stones sewing it back up. When the wolf awoke and tried to run away the weight of the stones caused him to fall down dead. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother were grateful to the huntsmen for saving them. They vowed never to be careless in the wood again and to listen to her mother's warnings.